Today in our 2007 Chevrolet Colorado, we'll be having a look at our best hitch options. On the top, we have a draw tight class three, part number 75607. And on the bottom, we have a Kurt class three, part number 13252. Now one of the biggest difference that we found between our two hitches here today is in regards to weight capacity. Our draw tight hitch here at the top has a 600 pound max gross tongue weight rating and a 6,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Whereas our Kurt hitch has a 400 pound max gross tongue weight rating and a 4,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Now both of these hitches do support the use of weight distribution. However, on our draw tight hitch here, when we're using weight distribution on our trailer, our max gross tongue weight rating increases to 750 pounds and our max gross trailer weight rating increases to 7,500 pounds. Our curd hitch, however, our max gross tongue weight rating only steps up to 600 pounds and our max gross trailer weight rating only steps up to 6,000 pounds. So when using weight distribution with the curt hitch, its capacities are the same as the draw tight hitch when not using weight distribution. So what this means is the draw tight hitch is a more capable hitch when it comes to towing a trailer or using a cargo carrier that has a heavy load on it. You're able to put more weight down on the hitch and pull more weight with the hitch itself. However, you are still going to be limited to what the vehicle is capable of. You don't want to exceed the limits of your vehicle. Now, the next biggest difference that we found is in regards to towing. Our curt hitch here in the bottom has these plate style safety chain loops here that's welded on the bottom of the frame and the receiver opening here. These have a fairly small opening. I can easily stick about two fingers in through there, but you're limited to where you can clip on. You can only clip on here from the front. Whereas on our draw tight hitch, we have this round tubular steel loop that's welded on the bottom of the receiver. This is a larger opening a little bit. I can easily fit three fingers in. But with this style, we can clip on from the front, the side, and the back. So this will allow us to hook our safety chain hooks onto easily and not worry about having our hitch pin or locking device in the way blocking us while we're trying to hook on. The next biggest difference that we found is in regards to appearance on the vehicle. Our draw tight hitch, the entire frame of the hitch here is going to be hidden behind the bumper of your vehicle. So what that means, the only part that you're gonna see hanging behind the vehicle is your actual receiver opening here. Whereas in our Kurt hitch, this part here is hidden a little bit, but this part all the way down and back over, that part's visible underneath the bumper. You are going to see it hanging below the vehicle. If we have a look on over the Colorado that we have in here today. You can see what I'm talking about. We have the draw tight hitch installed. You'll notice our frame is tucked up behind our bumper on the Colorado. And the only part hanging down is our receiver opening here. Also on the Colorado, you'll notice that our hitch is tucked up behind the bumper here. It doesn't stick out past the bumper. The curt hitch here, this part here actually does stick out past the end of the bumper. So what that allows us to do is if we're using it for a bike rack or a cargo carrier, we're not limited by the options that we can use with this because it's gonna get it further away from the vehicle. We're gonna have less worries about having interference with our bumper, with the tailgate, or things of that nature. Now, one other difference that we have if we're using the hitch for recreational purpose, our draw tight hitch has an additional hole towards the end of the receiver. And what this hole is for is for a J-pin stabilization device. And what that does is it takes away some of the annoying shake, play, and rattle out of what is inserted in your receiver. Some bike racks and cargo carriers have anti-rattle devices built into them, but if yours does not, you can take advantage of that device, which we have available separately on our website, to take away that annoying shape, play, and rattle. Now, when it comes to similarities, both of these hitches install fairly easily with no drilling or modification to the vehicle at all. They both bolt into the existing holes, which makes for a quick and easy install. Both of these hitches are going to allow you the ability to accomplish your end goal, whether that be towing a trailer, 
using it for a bike rack, using it for a cargo carrier, or using it for any other hitch mounted accessory. Both of these hitches give you the ability to do that. If you wanted to tow a small camper with your vehicle, not a problem. Both of these will allow you to do that and they give you the ability to use weight distribution so you don't have to worry about your camper causing an unlevel ride on your truck or you having a sagging tongue on your camper. This will allow you to straighten both of those out. Both of our hitches feature a nice collar on the end that's welded on to help reinforce our receivers and give it a nice finished look. Now for a brief summary. When it comes down to towing, we found that our draw tight hitch was the clear winner here today because it does have the higher weight capacity ratings and the easier to use safety chain loops. When it comes down to appearance, we found that the draw tight hitch won in this category again because it is more hidden underneath the vehicle. When it comes down to recreational use, we found the Kurt hitch to be the winner here because the end of the receiver is further away from the bumper, giving us more clearance and less chance of running into interference when using hitch mounted accessories, such as bike racks and cargo carriers. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Chevrolet Colorado. We hope you find this video helpful and informative.